Hey guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365 with another updated video. Today is January 22nd, 2017, and this is what I currently have going on in my grow tent. As you can see, there's plenty of growth going on. Um, since the last video, make sure you check out the last video. I'm going to leave it uh, linked down below in the um, in the description area, as well as some additional links. And, and guys, if you like the channel, make sure to subscribe. This way you get uh, email updates regarding latest uploads, and you can stay updated on everything that I have going on on Grow Indoors 365 right here on YouTube. So, if you guys are new to this channel, basically I do a, um, a weekly update on what's going on in my indoor hydroponic garden. Everything here is um, constructed personally by me, all the reservoirs, and I grow everything from seed. So what I currently have going on is I have my romaine lettuce right here. We have our Aroma F1 basil. Here's a uh, brand new reservoir with some uh, Lola, Lola Rosa lettuce. It's like a butter lettuce. It's going to be beautiful when it's going on. Um, down here... Um, don't mind the, um, the electric tape. That's basically the uh, the top of the reservoir broke, and I had to make make it work. So I had to kind of tape it up. But uh, the back row is the rosy basil, and I think the front row here. I think I have like uh, maybe five. I'll take. Let me take you up close a little bit here. I think the I think the back. I think the back ones are the rosy and up here is the dark purple basil. It's a beautiful basil and I'm actually really excited to see once it grows. Let me make it a little brighter in here. Show you what these look like. They're looking quite nice. I'm actually pretty excited to try them and just taste them. Actually, let me just touch it. Yeah, it's already starting to smell like beautiful basil. Um, but these are going to be fantastic. I'm really excited. Uh, what really drew me to uh, grow these is the colors. I've never seen such a purple matured basil before I got the seeds as well as the rosy basil. Now, what do I have here? My prized possession at the time. I'm going to make this a little darker here so you guys can see everything. This is my broccoli plant, my hydroponic broccoli plant. And every single day, the more and more I, I look at what's going on with this main plant right here. So I got this main plant right here with the, I mean, this incredible, enormous stem. Look at that thing. I also have this little cat coming in here. Come on, buddy. Um, I also have two plants back there. There's one right there, one right here, and one little, little guy right here. Now... Now that I realize how, how it all looks and how broccoli kind of grows off of the stem, it's actually incredible. It really is. So here's the main head. Let me get a little close on it for you guys. There you go. Focused up. As you can see, they, they, it almost looks like Brussels sprouts. And I mention this frequently, but I mean, this, this broccoli head has been getting bigger and bigger and bigger over the last few weeks. Again, the, the previous week's video is linked in the description area so make sure you check it out so check it out this is this is oh wow I actually didn't even see this this is incredible I, I, I'm really I'm literally fascinated by how broccoli grows so we have this main huge stem right here with this large bulb up top now as you can see here let me actually zoom out this way we can have a better contrast let me see what I could do here for a little additional light so we have the perfect visibility here. So check this out. So each node that's turned from this main stem, so check this, basically, if we're looking at this little broccoli right here, it's gonna be growing its own little family. As you can see right there, let's see. as you can see right there, there's a new broccoli going right there. There's also a little broccoli head going right here. Now this major stem right here is basically going to be coming out with all these little little stems just like this all throughout. Like, take a look here. See this node right here? It's going to turn into that. There's a node here, a node back here, a node right there. And let's take a look. Let's go back a little bit back here. Let's see what's going on. As you can see, 
Well, right back here, there's stuff starting back here too. Got a nice one right there. And as you can see right there, let's see if you can see it. See that little baby one right there? Cool, right? And that's literally happening everywhere. So you can see, let me get closer. You see that right there? These are all little nodes that are happening on this broccoli. It is incredible. It really is. I mean, let me go back a little bit. So you guys can see how big this, the, 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 the uh, four plants are. I mean, it's literally taking up a lot of room. Since the last video, I actually upgraded the entire area. I got an additional tank because as you guys can see I have this pump right here and it's basically pumping out water for this one for here and for here and it used to pump out also to the uh, broccoli plant but I realized that the broccoli plant has such deep roots I mean they are enormous roots across the four plants so I went ahead and decided to get a brand new pump for down there. Right, so I had no choice but to get the uh, the two different pumps just to add more oxygen to the plants that will allow them to truly flourish. Because when it comes down to it, a lot of people are always asking why do you need the pumps? I'm telling you guys, pumps are the way to go. Especially driving a lot of oxygen to the plants, no matter which way you do it, it's really beneficial to the plants because they truly strive. Just like human beings, we cannot survive without oxygen. Same thing goes for the plants. Let's take a close look at these guys. Make it a little brighter here. Let's get in here. This is going to be a, um, it's like a butter lettuce. It, I mean, in the pictures, prior for me to buying the seeds, it looked absolutely beautiful. I mean, they're going to open up like circular, huge, and um, just all red. And anything that's other than green, I'm actually all about something a different color than green. I love green, it's obviously full of incredible nutrients, but also red, different colors. They're full of additional minerals, you know, potential antioxidants, though obviously lettuce is a high potency of water, though, you know, any kind of fruits or anything like that, different colors, I'm always fascinated with. I want to see what they look like at full maturity. So it's just exciting. I'm, these, you know, this is a, um, a beautiful stabilized project that I consistently have in the works and I consistently am just kind of working on I'm trying different things and I'll tell you it's fantastic having your own garden it really is because basically my kitchen's right around the corner okay whenever I want I come in here I could literally grab a piece of this lettuce right now this romaine lettuce and just eat it I've actually been meaning to cut uh, just a really young head and see if there's a taste difference because there certainly is once it gets really large and in previous videos I've already showed you guys what these things get like they get like this high they get like this high and they're just like super full and I mean obviously the, if they go to like 35 days 40 days they're already so bitter I'm not even into them I end up throwing them out so I it, you know if you could consume them from like day like maybe like 25 uh, up to day 30. I mean, I have nine pods in each reservoir. Um, usually one or two die off. And, um, you know, let's say you're stuck with seven or eight, maybe. You know, you have a week's worth of beautiful lettuce that you personally have, have brought up from seed, which is so super cool. These are, you know, these are regular basils right here. We use these. I use these just, to, I kind of like to just like pick them off and just eat them. Or um, just make, have my wife make some pesto. It's, it's fantastic to have um, living, living, you know, herbs in your home that at any time you could just pick them. It's really great. Um, I'm, I'm contemplating between getting an additional um, tent. The reason why I want to do it is because I found somebody left a comment regarding some uh, really lovely cucumbers that do not require pollination and I don't believe that the uh, seeds are GMO or anything like that. So I wanted to give them a try. I wanted to try the cucumbers one more time. I also really, really, really want to try uh, watermelon. Now, I, it's crazy as that sounds, I am going to do it. And I kind of want to have that experimental tent. So if you guys want to see an experimental tent, 
make sure to give me the thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe. Um, really want to, you know, get you guys to subscribe. That'll be great because the the channel is consistently growing. There's tons and tons of you that are trying to make the leap into growing your own food, and that's fantastic. It actually took me about a year and a half to get the guts to set this all up. Um, you know, sometimes you you need to spend a couple dollars, but this setup is not expensive. You know, the tent. No, I did not make this myself. I bought it online. It was a hundred dollars. You could probably get a tent this size. Um, I can't tell you the top off the top of my head what size it is, but it might be like 45 uh, across and probably maybe 55 high, maybe 60. But the tent was like a hundred bucks. Um, this metal uh, storage shelving, I think I bought that on eBay, maybe for like 50, 65, 50, yeah, about 65 dollars maybe. It's metal. It's great. It's stable. And these things are not light. These are filled with water. Okay, so you need something that is going to be allowing you to sustain a decent amount of weight. These don't have roots yet. These were just planted not long ago. Um, so where was I? So yeah, we talked about how much the tent was. Nine, like a hundred bucks. Maybe they go up to like 150, depending on size variations. Also, like zipper, zipper quality is a, a thing. Make sure it's got this reflective inside. A fan like this is like 20 bucks, maybe. Uh, pumps like these are like 65. They go, they range on eBay from different sellers all the way up to 100. This is the best type of pump. I mean, I'm literally inside right now. I'm running two hydroponic pumps. Two. It is not that hot, and um, they they actually don't run hot at all. You know what I mean? They warm up a little bit, but you can't even, it's, it's unbelievable from what I've seen online. And these are the best ones I've seen out there. Uh, if you want to know, this is what it's called. It's General Hydroponics. Okay, I mean, these are legit. They come with like serial numbers, the whole works. It's, it's unbelievable. Also, as you can see, they come with four nozzles. Everything is like really good quality. For the money, it's unbelievable. Um, these tubs, you can find them probably at Walmart for like five bucks. That includes the lid, you know. But you'll need some additional stuff. You're gonna need some of uh, some of these pebbles right here, clay pebbles. You, you, you can buy them on eBay for like ten bucks, fifteen bucks, depending on the weight of the bag. Seeds, seeds are like so cheap online. I mean, type in organic, non-GMO um, seeds, vegetable seeds. Plenty of sites out there. You can get like a hundred seeds for like three bucks of different types of things. Seeds are super, super uh, inexpensive. You're gonna need some rock wool. Those are the little uh, growing mediums. The growing medium is basically what we plant the seed inside, which is this part, and this is from uh, where the where the uh, actual plant grows from within. And that's really it. I mean, and then they have the lights, of course, and then the tubing. So the tubing is pretty cheap. You can get like I don't even know, like maybe like ten feet of tubing. This is BPA free tubing because the tube does lay inside. Um, I kind of wanted that for whatever reason because it was available. That might have been like 15, 20 bucks. You don't need so much. And you also don't need so much setup. I'm just doing this because I have a growing YouTube channel and there's a lot of curious people that don't know where to grab the knowledge from. It took me, you know, a year and a half to learn this stuff. And hey, buddy, what are you up to? Um, it took me a long time to grow this stuff. I mean, uh, to learn how to grow this stuff. You know, it took me a lot of trial and error, but I'm basically teaching you guys how to do it. Also, in the, des in the description down below, I'm going to leave two links. The first link is going to be one of the largest videos on this channel. It's an hour long. It's got over, I think, maybe 34,000 views in the last eight months, which is basically me showing you an A to Z on how to grow indoors. I even show you literally everything, how to germinate a seed, how to create these buckets, all the different things regarding pH levels, uh, acidity levels, PPMs, everything that you need to set a grow up like this. I mean, honestly, to make this work, you don't even need all this. You could buy a $15 pump, which will be good for one reservoir. You could buy one of these tubs, which is gonna cost you, you know, like five bucks. And um, a couple other things, you could, and, and the light, you could get a, a decent light for like maybe like 30 bucks on eBay. And um, it's well worth it. Um, I think I've talked enough and took plenty of your time. I want to thank you all for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe. You know, on the screen right now, you're going to see on your right hand side, 
a huge logo of our lettuce. <laughs> um, go ahead and, and click that because that will allow you to subscribe and this way you will get um, weekly emails, notifications regarding updates on when we updated, uh, when we uploaded the latest video and what the video title is and what it's about. So I really want you to do that and on your left hand side you will see a playlist of all our videos. I want to thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great upcoming week and make sure you grow indoors.